Hey everybody, uh, Rochelle here, your Delightful Crafter. I have the... Is this the February? It's either the January or the February uh, tonic craft kit. It was delayed uh, due to shipping issues. Because you know, here in the US, they have to get their stuff from the UK. Um, but this is a box I'm very excited about. Um, and some of y'all may have already seen previews if you follow on the Tonic uh, YouTube channel. So, <clears throat> let's just get past all this so we can get inside. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So... In the past, a few years, I've mentioned my daughter adores Doctor Who. And so, obviously, a big part of Doctor Who is the TARDIS. And the TARDIS is fashioned after the English telephone box. Y'all, we have a future TARDIS in the box. Because I have to make it for her. <laughs> she doesn't know I have it. She doesn't watch my channel. Um... But I'm very excited. So I'm going to pull this down. And like usual, I will start with the paper and move to the final, which is the dies and stamps. And come here. It doesn't want to come out. As always, I love how they ship their cardstock. Um... And let me get the, I gotta get the note card out of the envelope. I've already put my sticker on there because I love it so much. But the card actually tells you what's inside. Is that not adorable? So obviously I just have to do it in blue and then uh, make the little sign, you know, that goes on the door. So I hope she loves it as much as I'm excited to make it for her. And let's get started with the cardstock. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do purchase these, uh, this subscription from Tonic. They don't send it to me. Um, it's my well, what, whether they whether or not they sent it to me for review or if I paid for it, I'm gonna give you my honest review. Um, the only thing I actually looked at in here was the the goodie bag. Uh, we're going to call it the goodie bag, but I'm going to call it the goodie bag, and we'll look at it in a bit. Anywho, so it comes with two sheets of, they call it pure white vellum. Obviously, this is for the doors, so there's that. Um, we have the glitter card in Ruby Ritz, one of my favorite colors um, of tonics. Absolutely love that. We have a pearlescent cardstock, and this is in Luna Silver, and it's the only specialty cardstock <coughs> from Tonic that is double sided. So, as you can see, the glitter is not. Then we have, do they call it frost? Yeah, so this is Mirror Card in Frosted Silver. You can see single sided. We have another uh, glitter card stock in black sapphire. And I want to point this out if you're not new, if you're new to Tonic and you're not aware, their glitter card stock does it. It I like if, it, if you get a fleck off it, it's like one or two. It rarely sheds, if ever. I've never had it shed. So just sharing that. Next, we have mirror card in ruby red. Is that not gorgeous? That's my camera lighting. Textured cardstock. I love their textured cardstock. We have two. Is it? There's two here. I should only have one of these, but I got two of them. So I'm not going to complain about that. And this is in chili red. And two um, of smooth cardstock in black so this is smooth there is no texture on it where with the uh, classic card 
you have a texture on one side and a mostly smooth on the other. It's not as smooth as the smooth card. And the smooth card, I believe, only comes in black, white, and like a cream. Yes, Karma's back there crying. And as always, it, it always comes in an awesome little folder to protect all the wonderful paper that comes. If you're new to crafting, this is probably one of the best values out there as far as your bang, bang for the buck and slowly building up your craft supplies. Um, I have been subscribed to this kit since number seven and I've only missed four of those because, um, our, my husband and I, our, our cards get hacked a lot and I, it got hacked and I forgot to renew, the, put the new card in the account. So, um, and as you can see, this is number 64. So I have been getting a lot of. We're what, two? No. Five years into this? I think five years into this, and I've missed the first six. So I've missed 10 of the 64. So there you go. So there's that. Then we get uh, in this box, we, it's either, and you don't know what you get to open the box. You either get uh, the hybrid ink pads in either the Marion Bright or the Principal inks. And um, this is a hybrid, so you can use it for watercolor. You can also use it for alcohol. Uh, but obviously you'd really only go with like a black um, if you're doing alcohol coloring, like Copics or the other alcohol markers on the market. So Marion Bright... And I already have this, so I'm going to send this to my sister. Then, then the goodie bag. And this is what, like, a lot of the extras um, come in, is you always have one of these bags in your box. And there's not a lot in here, but there's a lot of cardstock. And um, you get a full pack of ink so you know it is what it is so the first thing we have is the Nouveau Crystal Drop in the color Silver Lining let's see let's see so there you go and so if you're new to these, it's like glossy, uh, not glossy accents, but like enamel dots, you just get to create your size on your own. The next goodie we have is a glacier paste in the color winter white. And a little, a little tip about this, there are a lot of colors, but if you want you can actually take like an ink and you know, like put this down on like a glass mat or something and mix a color into it and change the tints if you want to try and go for like a custom color if you don't have all the colors that are currently out. So just a little putting that out there. And then the last thing is actually two in one. Um, <coughs> uh, the Nouveau Dauber and then four extra daubers so for color blending if you want to use the dauber instead of like blending brushes um uh so yeah so there's that now we are on to the jewel and the dies So you have the different panels for, I'm going to say, the TARDIS. You have the base and the top. And then this is a top panel. Um, so I can show you here. So see up here. This creates your base, which is down here at the bottom. You can do happy birthday, um, just to say, and then telephone. <laughs> so... 
And the telephone is an emboss where these sentiments here are die cuts. Then you have the panels for the doors. You have the little crown detail, which is up here, which you find on uh, the telephone boxes. I, I don't think there's a lot of them in the UK anymore. It's kind of like here, you know, we don't have the phone booths here anymore. It comes with, uh, you have an assembly here, which I love. They didn't do this with the earlier um, kits. So you kind of had to watch the videos to see how to assemble. Um, but I love that they do that now. Plus they also add it in the dies that you actually buy, like the full, the full size dies. And then I guess this panel is meant to kind of like make it faster so you can cut out. This one's bigger. Is it bigger? Okay. Not quite sure why, but you have two different panels here. You can die cut here. There's not a die cut here. So I'm not sure why. So I'm going to have to take a peek. Then you have these, um, these pieces here, which I'm going to assume are used to uh, adhere the different panels together. Um, so I would probably do two on each side. This is me guessing because I haven't looked at the assembly guide yet. Um, here is your little tab to uh, close uh, the, the telephone box. Then you have these circles. And what I like about this is if you get the really thin wafer die magnets, you can hide them under and it doesn't take up a lot of bulk. And I'm going to have to hunt down. I found an act, actually found a website where you can buy them very reasonably. Yes, baby girl, I'm almost done. Um, it's not going to post right away. I will try to remember probably in a little over a week. I'm going out of town this Saturday. Very excited. Um, some of y'all already know what's going on there. But then... Um, Look, they're showing it here. It's kind of... So it looks like somebody typed in have a treat. And look, it looks like they have like cherry blossoms or something in there. Just to say, just to say. Anywho. That's what's up with this. Plus, it comes with the little... Um, envelope. All the kits come with one of these and every third kit uh, comes with a little binder that these fit in. They are meant to hold three but you can get four in them. And then we also have the stamp set. And so as you can see here are the flowers that are featured in here and it looks like it was probably stamped twice. So if you have um, like Tombow markers uh, was it Le, Pe Le Pen or Le Plume pens? They have the brush tips. There's a technique you can do if you want to do different coloring and you can paint on the stamp and then just before you go to blow on it, you kind of huff on it, you know, like, like a hot breath. It reactivates the ink so that you can um, continually re-stamp but use different colors doing it. I haven't done it in a long time, but... Anywho, you can also stamp the crown. We have have a treat, well done. And then again, we have the stamp telephone. We have this nice little filigree down here. So a really good... Does she not... She really sounds pathetic. <laughs> Anywho. The telephone box. I have so been waiting for this to get here. I was sad when I saw it was a delay, but I understand. Um, if you're not aware, Tonic Studios is a company out of the UK, so the Great Bitten. It comes from across the pond. And um, those that ship in the US actually have to wait, get their supplies from the UK. So if you ever get orders and there's a delay, that's why, because there's like a custom issue or something like that. And in this one, there is a little notification the Stamp Club, fifth, Stamp Club Club 
15 is going to be, they're calling it Milk and Cookies. I'm very excited about this. Um, this would make a really cute like shaker set. I, I don't know the the entire die set. And right now, some people frown on this, but you know what? No, because this is, I believe this is also included in a lot of orders. Until the 18th, which is this Saturday, if you use this code right here, um, or while supplies last, uh, if you spend $20 or 20 pounds, you're going to get a free mystery bundle. I don't know. I have forgotten. So, um, cause I've been getting different cards telling me that. And I honestly, I haven't paid it any attention. So anyway, that is the tonic craft kit number 64. If you love it, I will put a link down to the tonic website. You can go check it out. Subscribe. Um, I also suggest you follow the Tonic YouTube channel because they will preview the following month's kit. So I'm assuming if we go on their website now, we can actually see what next month's, so March's kit is going to look like. Just sharing that with you. So um, this is going to be the last video that posts this week. I am going to try and pre-record two so that a video will post this weekend and another video will post somewhere between Monday and next Thursday because I will be out of town and won't return until next Thursday, the 23rd. Um, it is the last cruise that I have booked. Um, I am not booking any cruises again. And uh, the next cruise that I plan on booking is for November of 24. So those of you who know how much I love cruising, that is a big deal. For me not to go cruising, because I try to cruise two to three if I can s squeeze it in four times a year. Um, and this just happens to be the last one on the books. I had one scheduled for this no coming November, but Carnival canceled it because the ship wasn't going to be ready. I was going to be on the inaugural selling of the Carnival Jubilee, um, which was the name of the first Carnival ship that sailed out of Galveston and um, that ship has since been retired and now they're bringing out this new it's an XL class ship so it's the biggest ship that Carnival class of ship that Carnival has out right now the first one was the the Mardi Gras the celebration just launched and again, like I said, the Jubilee was supposed to launch in November. Now it's not till December. And I was really upset because when they changed the the, the uh, sailing date, that sailing was already sold out. So that I, there was no way I could be on the inaugural cruise, which I'm very pretty upset about because I was really excited about that. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I hope you guys have a great week, weekend. Like I said, I please don't hold me to it because we all know how I am. I can be forgetful. I'm going to attempt to have a video to, to post this weekend and another video to post one next week. And um, because I have a lot to do between now and Saturday morning. So if I can only get one made, then only one's going to get made. I hope you understand. And with that, I hope you all have a great night. Love y'all to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.